Okay, now we start um, on a, a special technique with the plexiglass. I just got a new one from a, a store here called Home Depot. Maybe you have other hardware stores around your home. You can get. You can also get from the uh, craft stores or framing stores. They use this kind of glass. It, it could be a poster frame that you abandoned. I used to do that also. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, sand it. Otherwise, you see the it won't take ink. Mm -hmm. uh, it will. Well, you will have some bold, like beads. <laughs> How do you say that? It, you know, after you sand it, it will become uh, more. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, absorbent. Like absorbent. Yeah. yeah. So I sand it on one side. I don't have to sand both sides. Um, so this side is, is sanded, you can see it's yes, kind of translucent yep. this side. So we can, uh, we can start with uh, some uh, leftover ink from yesterday. I just put a little water, oh. dilute it, oh, just take it back a bit. Um, we don't add the peach sap glue to that, do we? Um, because that's a, that's the night a, before. Yeah, that's a good question. Good, good point. I would uh, add them to just experiment. Um, because uh, it's overnight ink, so it's better to use some uh, glue in it. Also, uh, when you do rubbing or monoprint, it, um, if you add some... Uh, uh, some kind of uh, starch will help to build the body and the uh, uh, more interesting texture, you know. So I, I, I will add some glue to it. And you, what you can do is you can uh, use a little, let me just drip it here. So I, I just put some ink without blending, so you can just Pull it, uh -huh. and uh, so it comes out to uh, different tones, maybe. Right. And uh, you can put some more water if you want to, and some uh, some color. Normally, uh, green or blue is uh, one, and uh, also the the amber. Um, amber colored, uh, brown color. Yes. It's good. So I don't have brown here, maybe let me just use this uh, aluminum. Now these are the tablets, aren't they? Th these aren't the Marie's, are they? Yeah, these are Marie's. Oh, they are Marie's. Yeah. Now what colors are they? These are, um, well, th you don't have to use uh, much color. To paint. Like yesterday we saw in the in the exhibition, the artists mainly use the, the Sumi ink. That's what yes. we, can, we can start with that. So we just use ink to begin with. Right. So uh, instead of painting, I can, I can paint it with a, a structure like this, you know. Just, just, oh, lovely. just like, a, like that. You can make an initial imprint, and then um, the leftover can be done again. Okay. Uh, what I do is I, I will experiment uh, something um, with a different paper. Okay. Now I first of all I use a, a heavy weight <coughs> size the paper. This would uh, not take all the pens away, uh, <coughs> but kind of. Uh, Uh, 
to spray it, you know. Right. And you can use the the mounting brush instead of hand. I just use hand. Yes. You can use the the the, the bristle stripe one. Stripe. Yeah. The 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 uh, palm fiber. So let's see. Let me try. I'm doing a lot of this, I think. Um, so this, this this is an initial print. China China Chen will use this kind of paper. You can see. It's more, um, it's not absorb. I mean, it's, it's the sized, it's not absorbent as much, so the, the paints flow on it. Yeah. And we can paint uh, more later, so we need to, to set it to aside for now. Okay, and that's beautiful, I love that. Yeah. Now, what was that paper? Heavy sized paper, but it's... it's double, it's double weight uh, size. Double uh, weight. Shrine. Double weight size. Shrine. And we can make another print right off that. You know, this is a, 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 a uh, okay, let me, let me move this so we can put that in front of the camera. This, this bar serves as a, a plate for monoprint itself. Right, because it has extra water. I think if you take uh, the ink away, it might destroy this uh, nice uh, mm. effect. But uh, we could, if you want, you know, to take uh, some off. No, no, leave. no. Just leave it. <laughs> yeah. So you can you can do a print. So the the print on this one might be. But you could also, also do that yeah. going that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On so the there, there are many possibilities yes, depending on are. what. So we have to make a decision whether we want to uh, destroy this one or you know, or keep working on this uh, plastic glass. So this this is more like, you know like a very everything is unique. That's the, mm. the beauty of abstract art. You cannot repeat it, right? So we use not the, this time is an absorbent paper, the single sized paper. And you can see this is, this one smears a lot, but it has. Also, some dry rubbing effect. So you, oh, that's beautiful too. Yeah. You, then Look you, at this. Yeah, you, it's like lotus leaves, right? Yeah. That's so just that's what, like we saw what, what we saw last, last night. night. Now, yeah. how did you achieve that? It always the because pattern the in second, the paper. The second uh, blot, second uh, uh, print, it, because the first one had created some uh, dry and wet uh, but areas. Is, is that yeah. on the glass? Yeah, or that's is on it? the glass. So if you keep doing this, Without reloading, or maybe add a few more strokes, you get more vari variations. That's it's all random, you know. Yes. But uh, if you have the idea, that's you know. And so that the one is the single shui. Single shui, yeah. So now I can add with the Chanai Chen brush a few uh, branch. You know, you can do it uh, like a. You can you can pan on it, but uh, I try to make it like dripping. Yes. Uh, trace of uh, so it's not really like a brush stroke. And is that um, so, so you different paper may give you different uh, different effects. Effects. Yeah. yeah. I suppose there's no hard and fast mm -hmm. rules. Mm -hmm. And uh, also there's a different thickness. Let me get some uh, more paper. And now we have uh, some other paper that we talked about, like the golden oh, flake paper. Yes, I love uh, that paper. Yeah. So to continue, we can we can add some more to it. We can get some more ink on the bottom later. But just uh, you know, I can do some finger painting. Yep. So it's time to get finger. And you can you can use your finger to spread out, you know, just to avoid brush trick. Different from brush painting, that's what I try to get. And uh, we can put some water to put that create a softness. Yes. Yeah. Just. Uh, 
So this is semi size, so you could. Um, See if I do. Um, like I said, if you want to use uh, something to kind of uh, spread it, use the sized paper. So that will help. If you want to just take it as it is, use this absorbent paper. Yeah. yeah. So what we do now? That's the size. That's a lovely effect. Yeah. Um, That's, is that unsized? This is semi-sized. Semi-sized. So let's, let's do that. Yep. So I can uh, also kind of crinkle this paper partially so it will not take the whole block. Yeah. To give some uh, room for random effects. You know, I kind of create a... Oh, I think it's on the wrong side, but that's good. <laughs> so I, I put it on the wrong side, but that gives the right image, you know. If you do it this way, it will mirror it, right? Yep, yep. But the, if you do it on the wrong side, that, that's exactly what you see, is what you get. Yes. Okay. And uh, it doesn't make much difference, but, uh, you know, you, you can also do a makeup on the front side. Like that, so you can make it dry. Yes. The second one you do is drier. Right? I, I love the way we've got these tiny little dots. Uh -huh. this yeah, effect. this is called the rubbing effect. Yeah. Mm. Rubbing effect. So, um, and you can see this. Uh, I try to get this line and just give it a, a stamp. Or the flowers, maybe. Yep. So that will give this a cut, uh, you know, I, I, I mean a butt for, for lotus. And I like this part also. Terrific. Yeah. So, um, yes. Um, I have both dry and the wet. Let's put uh, this on the chair to get the dry. Okay, nice. Better just I can already see loads of, loads of leaves there. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Cappy. Use a paper towel to clean up, but yep. uh, um, let's see. if you spray water, uh, you can also create this uh, water drops. Yes, yeah. there's many ways we can do it. It's like that. that will create a, a different effect. Different effect, like a dew in the on the leaf, things like that. So just try. Okay, so you you tell me which one you want. Uh, just try a different one, maybe with the absorbent one. Yeah, that's a, this one here. Yeah, that one. Yeah, and <coughs> that's a that's a. I think it's a size. I mean, and size. So you can use the, any tool. It's the brush. You can use fingers, or you can use a large brush. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can also press with something like a newspaper, newsprint, or, or brown paper, or plastic uh, to kind of create texture.
Try to get the edge. Duck. Oh, that's fabulous. This one is uh, almost uh, there. We, all we need is the, the flower. Mm -hmm. Is that? I didn't get that size, did I? I got you one got size this, down. Yeah, this is the, um, the magnolia. This is the superwash. That's the magnolia. Yeah, magnolia. I, that's the one I got. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we can use uh, what left yesterday from the. Oh, is it, that's a gorgeous color. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, the, the color we left yesterday with the. Uh, sticking in the what we call it, or uh, water lily. And with some rouge. Mm. Oh, is, is, is this going to be the stem? Yeah, uh, I see yeah. there's some flowers here. Some flowers are already there. And then they're just dancing in the air. I have an image, I can see that. Mind when I see this kind of traces, yep. there, I see some little bits of the color there. There's a bee or dragonfly. Yes. So yeah, that's that's about it. This is the um, just drip some. <laughs> it water. makes for it makes for very quick, effective paintings, yeah, yeah, doesn't just, it? If you want to make some wet into dry, you yep. can use a clean brush. You know. Uh, and we can do some uh, details with a small brush. Yes. Would you put the little dots against the stem? Let me see. I can do some... Uh, uh, I like this edge. It's like yep. a... Yep. More natural. And uh, we'll just put some... Uh, so what we need to do. This is like a bee, huh? Yeah. That would be perfect there. Or just a dragonfly. Oh, any, any creature. Much, some, some, some creature some, though yeah. would be perfect. Uh -huh. I think that would be, should be small. Yeah. And uh, here we have uh, maybe just some drop of uh, water. <gasps> yes. Lovely. Yeah, that's the finished touch. And uh, let me clean my hand up yes, back yes. to the detail. Okay, now I'm going to use a small brush to do some detail here. We got to a little spot, we're going to make it into a V. And use a little light, very light ink to draw the V's. Body here. So all I need to do is uh, put a hit on some the yellow stripe and uh, some orange. Mm -hmm.
Same line, but I reverse the order. Gently, <laughs> uh, the fragrant breeze. Remember, I wrote yes. fragrance wrote, uh, first, and, and uh, you can recognize this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Filled the mirror like pond. Lake. Okay. Here. Let me move this camera around here so you can see. That's the wrapping from last yeah, time. Yeah, from the refill. We yeah, did that's a good idea. Don't waste anything. Right. I hate wastage. Yeah, you can, you can still make a few stems from the refill wrap that we got. Seal is uh, my mood seal says uh, uh, work after the 50, age 50. <laughs> now I'm almost past, way past that. I still can use that for another five years. Maybe. Yes. I made this uh, at the birthday of my 50s. So, this here. You should be pleased with that, I'm sure you are. Yeah, I like that. It's, it's gorgeous. A, it's like an exhibition piece. <laughs> it is. I really like that. Oh, it's beautiful, Henry. But we need to uh, make it dry, we'll put it in the sunshine in the, near the glass door here. Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>